hello there. Today we're going to be making a dust cover for a saddle. Um, so yeah, I'll put that down there. We're going to be um, using uh, cotton or some sort of natural fibre just so it's a bit breathable. Uh, a bit of elastic. We're going to need a tape measure. This is just, just to get the sizing right. And we're going to use scissors and our trusty sewing machine, which is right here out of shop. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. So, hello there. Okay, today we are making a dust cover for an English saddle. Now, I've got some greaseproof paper because I want to do a bit of a pattern for it because I do need it large enough to cover all of the saddle. Now I know the seat is 17 inches, this is how we measure them, so I know this is a 17 inch saddle. And I know that it goes down such a way. So, let's take some measurements and um, see what we got. So I know the seat is 17 inches, said that. Now from the middle, So from the middle down to the bottom, I'm on 21 inches on this saddle. Now I would say that this is probably, I cut a bow. Alright, so if, oh, alright let's find the words, yeah, so this is a pretty standard size saddle actually. Um, the larger saddles would have a seat depth of 19 inches. You don't get bigger than that. Um, and this is literally, we always measure it by the human. So, and then it comes down on this one, 21. But because of the design of this um, cover, um, it would be pretty simple. If we say this one comes down to 21, but if we make it for 24 and 19, which is the largest saddle that you can get, then I know I've covered all my bases. Now, if it was for a pony, you know, a little pony for sort of an eight-year-old girl, then the seat would be 15. So it's not that big a difference, is it, really? It's only two inches. And I need it to come round so it covers the back, especially this bit, and I need to cover down there so I've got my measurements oh and I need to know how wide it is this is um I think this is actually a show jumping saddle so <laughs> a show jumping cob saddle <sighs> there's a lot to consider so the basic shape is so I've got the curb which needs to be at least 17 with a hem of if I go four then I know that it will fit a 19 inch saddle so this is um, 21 now and then I've got 21 to go down and 14 across so I, I can't imagine it will be any wider than that anyone else's saddle so let's go for plus two so that's 21. all right now i've got this is just a plain cotton it's very thin it's funky and it's it's ideal for this because the idea of having a dust cover is not necessarily to keep the dust off it's so that you can recognise your saddle and you know that nobody else has borrowed it or anything else like that if you live if your horse is kept on a big yard. So let's just see if I can do it this side round. Lovely. So this is 22. I'm going to use this cloth, although I'm going to tell you to do it 24, okay? And I'm going to go 21, so that's down to there, I'm going to mark it with my pen, and 
I need it to be 14 inches plus a couple. Lovely. So I can leave this edge straight. This is the that goes at the front. That's fine. I will need to curve it round. So I've got my mark there. I will put a little bit of a curve on it, be easier to sew, won't it? And then I need to come up to my seat and then to the end of 21. So that's around there. So I'm going to get cut out and that's good. So, um, and I'll be back in a moment. Thank you. Hello there. Okay, so I've cut my bit of cloth out. Um, we can check it if we like. I've um, got the saddle here. And uh, this is probably going to be too hard, actually. <laughs> Let me just take my word for it. So, um, yes. So, there we are. So, I can check it all fits. And um, I'm quite happy with that, I think. It looks stunning. So, I've got the saddle there out of the way. I've got my sewing machine set up and I've got some elastic here. Now this is, I don't know, actually I'm going to measure it because I keep saying oh it's an eighth of an inch. Um, I've got no idea. I've got no idea where the end is either. Here we go. So yeah, um, they wrap it up with sellotape and it's really quite annoying because you get like sticky bits every now and again. I suppose that's an eighth of an inch. Ah, no. It's um quarter of an inch. Silly me. Okay, now it doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm going to start in the middle of the back because it seems a good idea. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to sew over this piece of elastic and then I'm going to reverse stitch. This is just to hold it in place. Then I am going to take it out of the machine and I'm literally, I'm just going to fold a hem. So I've rolled it over the elastic and then I'm going to put it down and I'm going to check that my machine is sewing on my elastic and that it's all secure. So all I need now to do is I need to keep this piece of elastic taut and tuck in my edges of my cloth. Now you can do this in two stages but once you get started I'm sure you'll find this is quite quite easy. Now at certain places you need more stretch than others. Although, for simply sake, I think you can say you just gently stretch it everywhere. But I'm going to put less of a stretch. Oh, sorry, I haven't quite got that much um, taut on it that it's pulling it like that. It's um, when I started re sewing, I've got my threads all caught up. So I'm going to take that out of there because it's going to be annoying in the end if it's all in one ball. So yes. Now what I'm doing is rolling and coming up to an end. I'm coming up to the curb. So I'm just going to tuck this in. And the elastic is going to hold it in place. And if I need to tuck it in a bit further, I haven't cut it very well, sorry. Um, I'm going to leave the needle down and then I'm just going to tuck it under my foot so that I know it's secure. Lovely. Now I'm coming up to another curve, so I'm just going to stop for a second, adjust it all and then go again. it all and go again. I'm now coming down the from the back of the saddle to the flaps. Oh, I'm going to leave my 
my needle down, that's why. There we go. So, that's all done. Now you could make this out of um, a waterproof fabric, but I think it would be better for the leather if you just made it out of a cotton. Um, now I'm not doing this very tidily at all, because um, if that the tidal is slightly damp, and they do get damp, you know, um, then um, it won't affect the leather, you know, because if you didn't use it for a while and it was in a waterproof wrapping, then well, the leather would go mouldy, so which is just a sheet of mould over the leather uh, and you dust it off. But even so, not very nice, probably not very good for the leather either. So that's why I've chosen very light but colourful fabric. Lovely. So I'm just coming at the bottom of the saddle flap now. And I'm just folding over my hem. Making sure that I've got the elastic torn and I'm sewing it over the elastic. Now I'm just going around the curve of the bottom of the saddle flap coming up to the front. So it's quite a tight curb, so I'm going to just whirl it round. There we are. Now this is all straight up to the, the pommel, which is the front of the saddle. Sorry, it's a bit confusing for me. Two worlds colliding doing stuff for the horse. <laughs> he never normally gets to come home with me, you know. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> there we go. It is a bit fiddly when you're doing the corners. Literally just coming up to halfway now. So I suppose you've you've got enough to see. What it's got is a slight pucker in it, really. And this is when it's on the saddle, the saddle will push it out so that it's nice and secure. So I'm going to stop the camera, finish it, and then um, talk again. Hello there. So I've sewn round there, and I'm just coming up to the end, really. So I thought, well, it's a good a time as any to switch on. Not only did I feel the need when I was sewing earlier to name the bits of the saddle, but I also felt the need to say things like, so we're just coming up to the coconut whirl thing on the liquid all sorts. <laughs> all right, so I'm all done now. What I'm going to do is lots of reverse stitches on this piece of elastic. This is just to keep it secure. If it's going to fail, it's going to fail at the, the end, isn't it? So lovely. Oh, that's impressive. <laughs> just rubbing out a bobbing thread as well. Perfectly timed. So there we are. We've got our thing. Let's see if we can um, attach it to our saddle. <laughs> Lovely, might be harder than we said. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get it the right way around. So we're going over the back and then we're going over these flaps. Oh no! Lots of stirrups there. 
lovely and tuck that in again and then it's coming over there so I must admit why is it popping off there we are if I leave that like that oh I've gone on down here so although I haven't done it wide enough for this saddle I know it'll fit my other saddle which is probably more important so there we are a lovely personalized dust cover for our saddles to keep it safe <laughs> okay thank you ever so much I hope you've enjoyed it it's definitely been a pleasure to sew and um, hopefully I'll see you again soon